Joining us now to discuss the tariff impact on this sector, former McDonald's USA CEO and Fat Branch Chairman Ed Renzi. Uh, Ed, good morning. Good morning. Nice to see you. You too. The, uh, this round of tariffs, really the first one that has the, the chance of affecting everyday consumer spending, coming at a time when consumer sentiment is looking a little bit wobbly off of high levels. How does this all fit into the, the set of issues that, uh, that the restaurant and food industry are facing right now? Well, there's a couple things. Uh, the commodity prices are 30 percent, uh, 35 percent of the cost of uh, sales in a typical restaurant, and some as high as 50 percent. And any time commodities go up, obviously, your P&L goes down and it's inflationary, so you've got to figure out how to become more efficient or raise prices, one or the other. But there's an abundance of grains in the United States, an abundance of protein right now. Uh, I think that uh, it can be absorbed in the, in the short to medium term. Long term, it could get problematic. Uh, but I think in the short term, it's OK. Plus, the economy, uh, for the average guy in the street, uh, feels a lot better with the Energy prices down, gasoline's a lot cheaper. Uh, the tax uh, benefit they got from Trump's tax plan. So there's a little more disposable income. And I'm looking at restaurants that I deal with uh, across the board are up anywhere from 2 to 7 percent uh, and growing very nicely. Transaction counts are good uh, in the absence of price increases, frankly. So I think pretty optimistic about the restaurant industry. Some of the other industries. Um, I don't have that much knowledge of, but right now the restaurant industry looks good. Yeah, we're looking at some of these uh, some of these charts of the quick service and fast casual restaurants. They obviously have been very strong. It's a pretty clear uh, read, I guess, on uh, consumers' working and ability uh, to spend. So, what what are the challenges then? I mean, right now you have a very tight labor market uh, and a lot of talk out there uh, in the coming campaign about uh, about even you know raising minimum wages and things like that. Well, clearly, uh, labor costs are going up, not so much because of minimum wage. Uh, it's because we've got such full employment, it's hard to find employees at any cost. And I see uh, job offers out there for restaurant managers north of $100,000 a year if they've got good experience and a good history. And hourly workers are getting $15, $16, $17 an hour in big metro areas. And in the smaller communities, they're $12, $13 an hour. If you can get uh, applicants, and I know that for probably every 10 applicants or every 10 jobs need filled, you only get one or two applicants, and a lot of them aren't qualified to work. So labor is going to be a problem going forward if this economy stays yeah. uh, as robust as it is. Hey, Ed, really quick, uh, this Popeye sandwich, i got to ask you, it is, is it a lesson about how menu drives traffic, or is it a logistics issue about how you run out of something like that? <laughs> Well, you know, it's never good to run out of anything. And uh, planning, uh, particularly for large changes, is hugely important. And understanding uh, where your crops are coming from. And it is about the menu. It is about great taste. It's a great service. Uh, people want to be entertained when they eat. And bad food, bad service is not good for the restaurant industry. Well, that's for sure. They, they clearly have uh, a taste for something new uh, that gets buzzy, too. Ed, thank you very much. We'll have to leave it there.